Hi, I'm Mark Coleman. I'm Prana's Mindfulness Ambassador, and I've been meeting with Prana's top athletes to talk about their inside game, to find out what's going on inside their minds when they do the amazing things that they do. Today, I'm meeting with Steph Davis to talk about fear. There's so much preparation to do a jump. You pack your parachute, you walk up, and you have to like collect yourself and get organized for this jump that's gonna take 20 seconds. When you get to the edge, you really have to decide when it's right to jump. And part of that is external and very obvious um, conditions, the environment. Sometimes that will tell you yes or no. But when all those things are in order, then you really have to decide when you're ready to go. Because when you go, you go. <laughs> you can't go back to the edge. I imagine it takes a lot of training or discipline to work with, particularly with fear. And I'm just curious how, 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 you, how you've come to work with that in yourself. Mm -hmm. So do you have any fear anymore when you base jump? Oh yeah, I'm yeah. scared all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's scary. Uh -huh. yeah. For a while I had this whole theory going on that there was like, <laughs> there was good fear and bad fear. Bad fear was the artificial self-induced pressure you know, the thing that's making you perform badly even though you shouldn't. Like for example, usually rock climbing, if you fall, nothing really happens, but somehow you get scared sometimes. It's a performance destroyer. And then there's good fear where, you know, say you're in the mountains and you're in like avalanche slopes or, or say you're free soloing. I was like, well, that's good fear. You should listen to that. It's for survival. So if you're, say, in the middle of a climb and you're free soloing and for whatever reason, some level of fear comes up, what, what, what do you do? What, what's, your pro, what's your inner process with that? I did have an experience once where I was free soloing and I got really scared. And just all the ideas in your head of like, I'm gonna fall and it was really bad. After that experience, I decided that you have to control that, and you can't even go climbing without a rope if that's going to be able to happen. Because that is going to be the thing that causes you to fall. Because you're perfectly capable of the climbing, generally. Um, but if you, if you get seized by fear, that could be what will kill you. So how do you train for that? I think you, what you put in your head is what stays in there sometimes. For example, if you're in your mind, you're thinking, don't fall there's still the fall. Like I feel like your brain doesn't decipher not to, <laughs> it's just seeing fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's all about controlling your brain and, and just putting what you want in your brain and not allowing the things that you don't want. And that's like the crux of life. And so when you're afraid of things, like what could happen or what might not happen or what you have or what you might not have or you know, all that stuff, that's just fear. 